Hello everyone, 1st of December, so we are allowed to talk about Christmas. This time last year, I've done my first 24 videos, advent calendar. This year, I really wanted to do this again, um, even though I remember how much work it requires. I want to share the videos with you in three types. So the first one will be for HR professionals or those who can impact diversity and inclusion agenda. So we'll be talking about data, strategies, case studies, methodology to use. Um, the second type of videos will be directed at managers who want to learn more about diversity and inclusion and what they can do. And the third time will be for colleagues. But since not many people go that far into the videos, I'm going to do my own appraisal. Yeah. So I am so happy and actually I'm so proud that I've reached those goals. I've set up my company CB Mean, um, I have my website, work in progress, and um, I've actually done four events. Um, I'm currently in Glasgow delivering my last one. Um, and I have invoiced, uh, I've issued more than one invoice uh, for the services and the feedback uh, is overwhelming from all of those. Uh, interventions and uh, events. I'm so grateful. But I am also grateful for the experience I have had in my previous organizations. I know that the level of service I can provide to die wouldn't be as valuable if I didn't have had the corporate experience and thank you so much for my supermarket uh, i think you know how, mu how how much i've learned how valuable for me it was to have the experience working in the tech world i feel like the ways of thinking and working from tech uh, can be really applied to move the needle with diversity and inclusion agenda in any sector so it's been absolutely fantastic but my desire to have my own company has always been with me ever since i left poland 12 years ago and i left my first company uh, back then i've always had this thing about um, distinguishing between validating myself um, and making sure what i do is valid to me and to people i serve and so I'm going to break it down by that and I feel like that's going to be the performance where I management and when I can really look at am I delivering what's important and how I'm delivering it. So the number one is the values and for me it is uh, helping managers and colleagues and organizations to uh, drive diversity and inclusion by uh, focusing on three for me important things. So number one is to see, so it's to be um, observant, to, to um, analyze and be able to see what's going on. To number two, to be, so to be present uh, and to be able to bring yourself um, with your strengths, but also with your weaknesses. So for example, ever since I've known I have ADHD, I'm very open. I'm going to events and workshops and working with clients and saying, look, I've got ADHD, which means that I, uh, I may not be the best in giving instructions or um, I may not be the best in estimating the amount of time that a service was delivered. Can you work with me on that? There, is, there are no problems whatsoever. And the last one is too mean. Uh, we give meanings to our words and actions and that and think about the bigger picture. Um, number two, accountability. Uh, accountability is a biggie. Uh, it's always been, but especially when you are self-employed, uh, I'm, I'm very mindful and working hard to ensure that what I am delivering to the customers or people who come into the events is what they need and that they will take something away from it i think and especially when we are dealing with people and our topics like diversity and inclusion I'm very mindful of the power of words and the content i'm delivering and i'm taking as much responsibility as i can and i am making others aware of the responsibilities they have um, learning uh, i would have not even started my company if i didn't have the growth mindset um, interactions um, uh, I am actually am positively amazed and grateful for the amount of support I'm getting from people. Um, 
And finally, the drive. The drive for me is important that I do allow myself to drive at my own pace and into directions that I can have impact on. And knowing that I can take a break when I need to and I can accelerate where I feel like it's important. Changing my mindset from validating myself to make it valid um, has been a game changer for me and people who I'm interacting with, hopefully. Hope I can only just you know, build on that and see what the next year is gonna bring. But it's been, it's been uh, an interesting year. But I, now I can take the step back and appreciate the challenges and appreciate the situations and appreciate the, the learning that came with it and I actually be grateful for that. Uh, thank you everyone and um, until the next one when I won't be talking about myself. <laughs> See ya!